self-improvement has ruined my life it's something i see a lot in this improvement space because once you really hop on or start self-improvement semi-seriously you can't really revert back to your old degenerate ways without feeling some sort of guilt and you can't really enjoy it like you used to before self-improvement you're kind of like um how do i say this a voidless emotionless spurg like a robot just going through life yeah go wake up brush teeth wash face go to school do lessons do classwork break have fun like, chat with the boys go home homework play a bit of video games brush teeth wash face or sleep that type of thing right and you're okay with this lifestyle before self-improvement and then after you hopped on self-improvement this is the part when you can't really revert back you feel like something's wrong in life and you want more from it which is completely and utterly the case a good a good case scenario and it should be the case however it's like a it's like a double-edged sword you can't really enjoy the simple things in life you kind of want you kind of want um a successful how do i say this a successful affluent life you know what i'm saying it's kind of a, it shifts back to this paradigm in which a lot of gamers can understand right you grind in the video game video gamers respect you you grind in real life real people respect you and if you see video, uh, life as a video game you can't possibly be angry and frustrated at it because you know that in a video game especially in an mmorpg or it's even in a shooter you start off as a noob you start off with a basic gun with a kind of shit and you start off with like a crap loadout and a basic sword or a stick and you start off killing chickens all right and then you might see someone in the video game who's like seven years old, but level 100 and you're only like level 56. And you might feel some sort of guilt and shame and just, you just have this weird case of beating yourself up, which is often um, common in self-improvement. You beat yourself up all the time. But you shouldn't do this because you have to understand that, guy, that kid's been grinding longer than you. probably been playing since his five, two years of video game gameplay. You may only be playing uh, for a year, so, and you have to understand that if you keep comparing yourself to this individual, you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get anywhere. You're just going to stay in the same place, doing the same bullshit, and you're just going to end up doing nothing. The best thing you could possibly do is analyze your chessboard, analyze what you can do in the moment. Analyze what is the best possible move that I can make that can benefit me the most. If self-improvement is making your life worse, then that's not self-improvement. <laughs> that's it. Self-improvement is about making your life better. Making yourself happier. Getting fitter. Because if you get fitter, you're usually happier. Your baseline happiness is usually increased. I don't think I've been depressed once. Since I've been fit. I felt sad. But had I felt sad before when I was fat fuck. And lazy and just doing bad habits. Then I probably would have felt depressed. Had I. Not pursued. Oh, is that a screw loose? Okay. No it's fine. I think it's fine. Had I just remain, allowed myself to remain re mediocre and not pursue uh, self-improvement and entrepreneurship and the things I'm pursuing in life as it is, I would have probably remained depressed, sad, and lonely. But now I've got shit to do. And you can't be sad if you have shit to do. Why do my hands look slight? Chunky. My hand looks chunky. Stretch. Ah, ha! Ah, I got an injury from boxing recently. It's not recent. It's been like okay, for like a month. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna ice it now. Actually, I'm gonna do this. It's a sharp, stinging pain right here. Every time I do a hook, motherfucking man, I die. I die. I can do straight punches, fine. Bang, bang. But anything like with a hook, uh, I 
I don't know. I think they're putting too much force into it. That's a lot of people, like, they can punch very strong. But, you sacrifice your hand for it. Glass cannon type thing. Anyways, I don't have anything else to tell you. Never give up. Always look ahead. Think about your next five moves, Patrick Beck David. I'll see you guys in a bit. Sayonara.